Hello and welcome to Tax the Torah. I am Heath Hayes. Today is Sunday, August 7th. So guess what we're going to read as soon as I can find it in the old Bible here. We're going to read Proverbs chapter 7. Uh, we just read yesterday Proverbs chapter 6. It was awesome. I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. Now, here we are. And, and, you know, something consistent that we keep seeing in here, you know, uh, a, as an example, guard my commands. Um, what does he say? There, there's a, <laughs> I'm kind of losing my mind. It's been a little bit of a long day. I, I apologize for not having this out earlier. But something that we've seen pretty consistently in each of the Proverbs is heed my warning, listen to my commands, obey, so on and so forth. It's important. So uh, this in as it as it begins in chapter seven, it is no different. So it begins with my son, guard my words and treasure up my commands with you. Guard my commands and live in my Torah as the apple of your eye. My Torah. What is the makeup of the Torah? The commands. <laughs> Bind them on your fingers. Write them on the tablet of your heart. That's what the Spirit did, right? Say to wisdom, you are my sister, and call understanding a close friend. Neighbors are shooting. To guard you against a strange woman, against a foreigner who flatters with her words. For at the window of my house I looked through my lattice, and I saw among the simple, I perceived among the youths a young man lacking heart. Passing through the street near her corner, and he went the way to her house in the twilight in the evening, in the black and dark night. And look, a woman met him dressed like a whore with a hidden heart. She was boisterous and stubborn. Her feet did not, stray, did not stay at her own house. Now in the street, now in the square, and at every corner she lurks. And she took hold of him and kissed him. She hardened her face and said to him, Slaughterings and peace offerings are with me. Today I have paid my vows. Therefore I came out to meet you, to earnestly seek your face, and I found you. I have spread my bed with coverings, colored linens of Mitzrayim. That's more than 15 rounds. <laughs> Come, or I have sprinkled my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Come, let us take our fill of carnal love until morning. Let us delight ourselves with love, for my husband is not home. He has gone on a, journey, on a long journey. He took a bag of silver with him. He comes home on the day of covering. With her many words, she leads him astray. With her smooth lips, she seduces him. He goes after her immediately like an ox. He goes to the slaughter. And has chained a fool to the punishment till an arrow strikes through his liver. Like a bird rushing into a snare and did not know it would take his life. And now listen to me, you children. Pay attention to my words of my mouth. Do not let your heart turn aside to her ways. Do not go astray in her paths. For many are the wounded she has caused to fall, and numerous all her killed ones. Her house is the way to Sheol, going down to the rooms of death. Shalom.